Sundays with Mal. Back at you again. Good morning. I'm Mal Williams with the sales department at Marathon. Good morning from Coburg, Oregon. It's 150,000 square feet of Marathon this morning. Today, we decided to just kind of roam the building and hang out. We're going to go into as many departments as we can, say hello to uh, the family here at Marathon, and just kind of explore the building and show you uh, give you kind of an idea of just how big uh, the scope of this building. It's 150,000 square feet, uh, built in 1994. Uh, the last part to be built was the paint booths uh, that are off on the south side of the building. Uh, so let's head in and see what's going on here at Marathon on Monday morning. Come on in here to the lobby. And this is the lobby here at the Coburg location. Good morning. And here's Rod Johnson from our sales department. Good morning. Rod, how long have you been with Marathon? 15 years. 15 years. And we've got a couple of Marathon owners right here. Of yes, yes, of course. How did you start? That's right. How long? Here they are. How, tell us, how long have you been Marathon owners? Since 92. 1990, oh my goodness. Yes. So we're really old. Kind of tell us about. <laughs> <laughs> so, c tell us, wh why Marathon? They're the best company around that makes these kind of recreational vehicles. Well, yeah, and the service yeah. department. The service department, the people are great. You just can't go wrong. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's about as good as an endorsement as you're going to get from some very experienced owners uh, since 1992. And we had two country coaches before that. so. It's not like we didn't have any other experience. Right, so you've experienced yeah. other other, yeah. other luxury RVs. And how many marathons have you owned? Two. It's wonderful. That's how long we keep them. In the second one, we have over 100,000 miles on it. Wow. We drive them. That's great. Yeah. So you're really experienced at using them. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Rod. Thank you. Of course. Uh, and you, you've been here a long time. Why, why work at Marathon? What, we're, we're, that's kind of the theme of our show today. We're talking about the family here at Marathon. And part of the family is not just the owners, but the employees. Well, you've got a backbone here. And you've got a great concrete foundation that this business is based off of. There's a lot of experience, a lot of tradesmen. It's a great product if you really dig into the nuts and bolts of what Marathon does here as a company. You can't see it always from the outside, but if you look in deep, you'll find all the answers for a product that is so well put. Quality of excellence. Man. That's wonderful. That's How can you go wrong with this group? That wasn't even scripted. <laughs> Thank you, Rod. My pleasure. That's, that's excellent. Let's head this way. Let's say hi, hi to Sarah over here. <laughs> over here, we've got the boutique. So if you're ever in the Coburg location, we've got a gift shop that's pretty awesome. And if you have any questions along the way, we've got Mickey with us. Mickey, do you have a question? All right. So Lee Ruffin says hello. He was here um, for a tour this last week. Absolutely. He you, and he said he had a great time. And he sees that you're here instead of in Arizona. Yes. Do you want to say a little something? We, we just flew back uh, yesterday from uh, the Final Four. Um, my wife works for the basketball team. And so it was an honor to go and be part of uh, the entourage that was with the team. And uh, the Ducks did a great job. And I'm so proud of the team, so proud of uh, the coaching staff and the staff of the team, which includes my wife and the players. And uh, there's a lot of pressure on, on those players uh, at their young age. And sometimes we forget they're student athletes, but uh, so, so proud of, of them and how, how well they did. Uh, we didn't get to play today, but uh, they did make it to the Final Four, so go Ducks. And I just want to say, Lee, it was so amazing to have you here. You and your family were very delightful. Come on back anytime. Absolutely. Yeah. Lee, thank you so much. And, and continue watching and commenting. And anytime you're in the area, come and say hello again. Uh, this is kind of cool. We've seen this many times on Marathon Mondays with Mal. This is our brag wall, if you will. Uh, kind of highlights uh, previous and current owners. Everyone uh, from celebrity to authors, a lot of race car drivers, movie stars, music stars, football teams, corporations. It's a great collection 
of uh, some of the celebrities that uh, are involved with the Marathon family. Back out here, you'll see the showroom. There's our buddy, uh, uh, 1249, right there in front of us. We've seen 1249 a couple of times. 1249 and 1181, uh, Marathon Coach 1181, which is one of my favorites that we have right now, uh, is on the other side of the showroom. Let's go over here to the production floor. We've spent a lot of time on the production floor. Uh, quality control, that's where Alan Hagen works. He's the guy that sees the coach, the shell that gets here, and he's the last guy that kind of looks over it uh, before it gets uh, received by a customer. That's kind of cool. James, you'll get a good shot of the backside of 1249 and 1181 here in the showroom. And then down, uh, you can peer down the production floor and see different coaches, H's and X models. In, in the stalls getting worked on. Let's go take a look over here. Well, good morning. Good morning. So tell us what you're working on over here. Uh, this is a uh, TV lift pan assembly. Okay. So the complete lift is right here. This is the assembly that goes on the front of the coach and it lowers down with the real large television. Okay. Um, we have a litter installed as well. But this is basically the guts of it. Is the frame, um, and this is going to be the next unit. That's for 1267. It's going to be for 1268. So I see. So it is labeled for 67, and this is for 68. Yes. Okay. Is this one completed? It is. Ready to be installed. Yes. That's great. Right. Awesome. Thank you. Right on. Appreciate your time. Cool. Let's head down through the uh, cabinet shop. If there's any questions as we move along, please feel free to ask. And if there's any questions that we don't get to while we're filming, um, I will be answering them all week long and uh, as, as accurately as we can. We were over here in the cabinet shop for uh, Marathon Mondays with Mal the first time we filmed. And we got to see Mike. And I think Mike's right over here doing doing something. There's our buddy Mike working right here. Morning, hey, Mike. Hey, morning, guys. What are you working on right here? Hey, I'm working on a uh, driver's end table. A driver's end table. Yeah, this uh, kind of a custom thing um, that we don't normally do. But uh, it's going to have a handrail right here. And I'm getting it prepped for the drawer guides. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good oh. deal. So this is a good example of how custom we can do it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to have a really cool handrail. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't hardly work. Oh, my enough. goodness. <laughs> look at that. It makes me look strong. That's right. Well, like right? we talked about on our, on our first uh, filming of Marathon Mondays is the lightweight woods. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Or you should have said, this weighs 150 pounds. It does. Watch me lift it. It even has a, a pair of, of uh, fa, fa doors right there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Going into Coach 1265? 1265. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate your time. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. You too. Here's the boneyard. That's what they call it here. It's kind of a staging area. In different uh, different levels, and let's go over here. How you doing? Morning. How's it going? Big Mike, right? Yep. Big Mike, everybody. How so doing? we're live on Facebook with Marathon Mondays. Uh, 29, 30 years. Almost 29. Almost 29 yeah, years. Yeah. Almost. We were talking about you earlier, and I wanted to make sure that we came over and said hello. Yeah. We've, one thing we've been talking about on today's show is kind of the marathon family and uh, being an employee, you're a big part of the family. Tell us why marathon. We're, putting, uh, we're kind of putting you on the spot, but you've been here 29 years, so. I like the challenge. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. The challenge of the job. I don't get bored, you know. Yeah. That's pretty much it, yeah. And you've seen a lot of changes over oh, yeah. 29 yeah. years. Sure have. Oh, it's excellent. Yep. Yep. Well, what are you working on today? Um, a bedroom upper cabinet here. 
pretty simple. Upper cab, so right above the bed. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much for your yeah. time, Mike. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. All right. Here's the laminate shop. We've been in here before. Looks like they're working on, they're probably working on the same coach that Big Mike's working on. Morning, guys. Morning. Here's the Corian shop. One of the things that we uh, like to show on these tours is right here is the laminate. Right here, this area right here is very hard to laminate. I don't know if we've shown this before on the show. We may have, but this is hand painted. It's hand painted because it's very hard to wrap those corners properly with a laminate. So to match it up, the attention to detail, we these are hand painted. Here's another good example, James, right here. This is laminate right here on the side. This contour of that vent is hand painted and it's matched almost perfectly. That's one of the most impressive things about. Do we have a question, Mickey? We don't have a question, but I thought you should say hello to Frank. He's one of our biggest fans. He watches all of our YouTube uh, videos. He's also on Facebook and he's just a big ray of sunshine. Absolutely. So. He is a ray of sunshine. Frank, thank you so much for watching and commenting. You know, a guy like Frank is the reason we do this. And we, we do this for guys like Frank, guys like Reginald, um, Lee, you know, people that comment and really are interested in Marathon. So feel free to comment, you guys, because it really does help us uh, with getting better at bringing these shows to you every Monday morning. So thank you so much. Frank, we really appreciate all your good comments every single week. It's excellent. Head through here. Fiberglass shop over here. Morning. Morning. Got the fiberglass shop. We make our own um, fenders. Custom made fender on every marathon coach. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Good. We're gonna zip in through the uh, the paint shop. Oh, look at that right there. <laughs> Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> Let's walk through the middle here. How are we doing on Wi-Fi in here? We're doing good, okay. So we're gonna walk in between two paint booths here and hopefully end up on the other side of the service department. I kind of walked through there this morning and they were busy, so that'll be kind of fun to see. Paint booths on both sides. Here they're actually prepping one right now. This is an H3 double slide. This is Marathon Coach 1269 getting prepped to go in. Okay, let's watch this scaffolding here. We're gonna head on into the service department. How are you? Doing well. You got a second to say hello? Sure. We're on live Facebook here, and we're notice you're prepping 1269. Yeah. So, how long have you been with Marathon? 25 years. 25 years. And this is kind of what we're talking about all morning. We're just going around the building and saying hello to people that have been with the company for a long time. Tell us why Marathon? Why are you a member of the Marathon family for 25 years? Because they build a product that's second to none. Absolutely. That's uh, you. We're encouraged to reach standards that are like higher than we've ever done anything anywhere else. It's wonderful. That's yeah. and that's a that's a great endorsement. I it's, we were talking with Rod Johnson earlier mm -hmm. out in the lobby, and he kind of said the same thing. It's it's the best product out there. 
and second to none is a great way to describe it. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thanks a lot. All right, appreciate your time. Oh, do we have a question? We have a question. How long does it take just to prep a unit for paint? To prep a unit for paint? To prep the unit to paint uh, around nine days, between seven and nine days, depending on whether or not it's an X or an, or an H. Okay. Uh, that's doing the composites, doing the sanding, door jams, some uh, masking and stuff, and then getting it based. That's gotcha. usually, I think, counting the base, I think nine days. So something like that. But we're working on trying to get that, the same quality, and then get that amount of days down. Gotcha. So anywhere between seven to nine days, yeah. even before it goes in to be painted. Yeah. Wow. That's that's a that's that's a lot of attention to detail. And Mal, you want to go ahead and say hi to Steve because Good morning, Steve. We appreciate you uh, hanging out with us and uh, taking the time to uh, comment and say hello. And then Brian Green says, "Paul's the man." Paul's the man. Yeah, awesome. Paul. Thank you so much. You. Really appreciate your time. Yes, well, and that right there. Let's hold this open for Mickey. That right there is why we're doing this, this show this morning, walking around the building to meet people like Paul that have been here. Good morning. Good morning. All right, all right. People that have been here and that care so much about the products that they build. It's so great. It's break time here in the service department, but we're going to walk through. There's several coaches that are being worked on. 11.56. These coaches are in different stages of service. They might be getting a new flooring. They might be getting you know, something repaired. They might be getting a TV upgrade, an audio visual upgrade. There's all kinds of different things that they could be doing. Now we have Steve saying great tour, so shout out to you. Oh, thank you, that's great. All right, good morning. Good morning, how are you doing? How are you? Good. So we just decided to come in and say hello. We're walking the, walking the entire building. And uh, so how long have you been with Marathon? With Marathon, we're going to go on 21 years. 21 years. So we've run into now, what, three or four people that have been with the company over a couple of decades. So you're a part of the Marathon family. Why Marathon? Uh, it's a great place to work. Great people. Yeah. Great job. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Thank you so much for letting us come through the service department. All right. Let's head this way. I like right, this. I like this blue. A comment from Sebastian. Sebastian. That says, "I work for Prevo, and those products are awesome. Ride like a rock star." Absolutely. In fact, down in Phoenix for the uh, Final Four, we were riding on Prevo coaches down there. And uh, I took a couple of, well, more than a couple of pictures, but took a couple of pictures of the Prevo coaches that we were, uh, that we were uh, are riding around with the team on. And they're just, they're, they're, it's a great ride. Let's head on in here. This is the service department. I think Chris might be in here. Nope, Chris is not in here. There's Leon. A lot of people know Leon. There's Angie. Hi there. <laughs> Let's just peek out this door right here, James, and show them the back side of the building. This is the service entrance. It's a beautiful day. So, if you're just coming in for service, this might be the place you're gonna come to. Come right in, and you'll take care of you. And uh, there's really not much that uh, Marathon can't do from a service standpoint. Go right. ahead, Mickey. So we have Steve who says this is so cool and he loves watching. But then we also have a question. What year did Marathon Coach start? My grandfather had a 1984 Marathon, but it was actually an MCI, and I've only seen a few older MCI Marathons on the Internet. Well, that's an interesting one, and maybe we could do a little bit further research for him. I think it was 1983. Yeah, 83 Marathon. the company started. Right. We've been in this location since 94, and uh, you know, I'll have him email me at malw, M A L W, at marathoncoach.com, and uh, maybe I can find some photos in our archives 
of his grandfather's coach. Awesome. That'd be pretty cool. We also have a good to see Rod, wonderful guy and great friend. Um, too bad no one else is in the service department. Those guys rock. They do. And a shout out to Kurt. Yeah, uh, it's break time in there. Yeah. And then... You see um, these coaches over here. Check this out. I have breakfast ready for you here in California, Don and Carrie Collins. So oh my goodness. What are we having for breakfast? I want to know... You have to ask Karen. Karen? Can I you want, make it to California in time? Um, we're gonna, you we're, and Kurt. We're gonna, road trip. we're gonna head on down. You, yeah, Kurt, Kurt's on break in there right now, but you let us know what's for breakfast and we might come down. Should we head up and see the upholstery shop? That's kind of a fun spot. All right. I came down here earlier this morning and they had coffee brewing. Smelled so good. One of the things about the the office building is that our marketing department does such a great job. Not to blow your guy's horn, but let me pull out my trumpet. Speaking about someone who we stuck our head in. Everybody, Chris. Chris is the head of the service department. Chris, how long you been with Marathon? Twenty five years. Twenty five years. Here's another person we just wandered in who's been here a couple of decades. <laughs> So that's kind of the theme of our show today. You've been here 25 years. You're a big part of the Marathon family. Yes, sir. Why Marathon? Why not Marathon? Exactly. <laughs> you know, and that's kind of the theme is that we're talking to people. Um, you know, it's, it's second to none. Someone said second to none earlier. Um, it's just a wonderful product and a wonderful place to work. If you want to work for the best of the best, Marathon's the place to be. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets right there. I'll put that on the business card. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Appreciate your time. This is kind of the lounge for the service department. Really a cool area where you get to see. I don't know if you can see. Let's turn around here and see. You can, you can overlook the coaches. You can see pretty far, and on a clear day like this, ah, it's great that we have this beautiful weather on Monday. Probably rain tomorrow because, hey, it's Coburg, right? But I was mentioning before we ran into Chris Welsh, um, the really great marketing job of putting the coaches on the walls. And that's one of the neat things about when you tour this facility, you get to see so many different glimpses inside so many different coaches. So if you're ever in the Coburg area, stop in. We do daily tours. And the upholstery shop. This is a this is a really neat room. I like it. it. Smells like glue and leather. Glue and leather. That's the name of my new album. Good morning. Good morning. The upholstery shop. And the Proclaimers on radio. I think that's James Strecker's favorite band. Here's a good example of the. Is this the driver's seat? One of the seats, I think this is the passenger seat that's going into 1263. That's the pilot. Oh, this is the pilot seat. So this is the pilot seat. Basically what this, this came out and they put more padding and they put the massage effects in it and the custom leather. And that's just beautiful craftsmanship right there. All right. One of the places that we've been many times on Marathon Mondays. Let's head in and see if Brenda and Al are in here. And to you, I say good morning. Good morning, Mal. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Al, we know well. Brenda, we know well. Hello. We're just walking through the building and wanted to just stop in and say hello. Fantastic. We've talked to, uh, we've talked to you a lot over the last couple weeks. Yeah. Brenda, how long have you been with Marathon? About two and a half years. Two and a half years. Al? Employee number one, how, how long? 34. 34. So you guys, let's, let's answer this question I'm going to pose to you uh, together. Okay. Why Marathon? You guys are the interior decorators of Marathon. Why Marathon is the kind of the theme of this show is we're walking around the building and there's so much experience and love and so much good feeling about working at Marathon. Right. Even on a Monday. What, uh, wh why Marathon? Because we're the best. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and we we treat our customers well. We do. We catch their vision, 
I, I think that's a really good thing. You catch their vision, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the thought that I had uh, when we were talking about doing this morning show right. was, you know, you guys spend a lot of time with these customers yes. to get to know them. Exactly. Speak about that a little bit. Tell us about getting to know customers so that you can you can do the interior decorating properly. Mm -hmm. Well, we ask a lot of questions. Okay. You know, how do they use the coach? What do they want? What do they like? What appeals to them? What what is easy for them to care for? Um, what's their current home like? What's you know, their hobbies? Right. What are their hobbies? What do they need it for? Right. Um, have they had a coach before? What did they like about it? What did they not like about it? Um, what would they like to repeat? You know, we go through a lot of what we've done and say, tell us what you like. Ceilings, sofas, I like this, I don't like that. I like the arm on this, I like the leather on that. And we, through lots of questions and listening, try to feel and then show because we're all visual you know so we lay a lot of things out and say what do you think about this and and I like this about it okay and all right I don't like that and very often when people don't know what they like they do know what they don't like Absolutely. they can tell you what they don't like and if you can clarify what they don't like um, you're halfway there for sure yeah absolutely yeah. and so we enjoy getting to know their their hobbies where do they travel what kind of heat are they going to be in? What kind of cold? Yeah. Um, do the grandkids come? Do the children come? Do they loan it? So we try to meet all of those needs, and then we enjoy getting to know them well enough that we can tweak the decor and the artwork and the photography and, and the colors to be just them, so that when they walk into their coach, they're home. And I walked into a coach a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and you had integrated a customer's actual photographs. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So she had taken these photographs yes. and they were just beautiful and they were art. Absolutely. And so you integrated them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's an artist and a photographer. So she also did the oil painting in the back room and uh, we had it framed and, and placed in the recess just so. So we take care of kind of the technical details and she could enjoy doing the artwork and make it personal because it's theirs and it, it should be. It's, it's so great. Everything here is custom down to monogrammed soap. You know, we I want, saw that, the yeah. monogrammed soap. Yeah. I want some of that. Well, we we really end up being friends with the customers. We can know them and, um, you know, we hear from them a year or two later and they're asking about... Sending you pictures yeah, of yeah, their coach yeah. at the Grand Canyon? Oh, yeah, or? she... That customer herself sent me a few weeks later our first trip and all these photos she took that were beautiful and it was such, I mean, if Alan and if the customer loves and uses their coach, we we're so happy. It's such an it's such an honor to really impact them exactly in that fashion. Yeah. Well, and to be invited into somebody's family, home, life to get to know them. Um, is a great honor and we take it seriously. We, it's a great privilege to be a part of somebody's adventures. Oh, that's yeah. so great. So, any, any questions while we're in here? Because this we is, have, we always have questions when we walk okay, in here. Okay. This is like one of the most exciting rooms in the building. So. It is, it's the fun room. This we is the fun room. Questions and comments. One of the comments is a shout out to Brenda saying nice comments, Brenda. Oh. And then Frank says, all those years the employees have speaks volume for the Marathon Company family. Too many businesses lose touch with that in the workplace. Impressive. Which I thought you should know since that's part of the theme here today. And that's such a great comment. And that is, you know, in this room, so you've been here two and a half years? Mm -hmm. And but I guy, plan on dying in this room. Exactly. <laughs> well, and, and that guy over there has been here 30, oh, three decades. Right. And that was part of, you know, when I first came here and walked around and met people and they... Everybody been here 10 years, been here 20 years, been here 17, and you just know this is a good place. This is a good place to work. It says a lot about the family that owns the company, and uh, they're very family-oriented. They're very interested in... Um, and it shows in the product. It does. It shows in the product. You know, we were down looking at some of the wiring on the TV lift, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of pride. You go through the service department, there's right. a lot of pride. Yeah. In the upholstery shop, yes. a lot of pride. Then you come in here and the connection that you have with the customers. Right. You know, you really want to take it that extra level to customize the coach for their uses and so that exactly. they'll love it. Right. Well, and I think of Marathon as a family. We're very much family oriented. We all kind of work together. Like siblings, we're all different. We got cabinetry, we got to install, we got solid surface and tile, but we're all working together to do the best. So as design, when we come down and say, 
this is what the customer wants or this is what we see they say okay then that's what we're gonna even if it's a little more time a little more money a little more effort we're gonna do the best job we can and there's no what the, 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 you know there's just everybody has the same goal so the I think best coach I think we need to do a marathon Mondays with Brenda <laughs> I think you're going to be on the short list in the next couple of weeks. Oh boy! Because uh, we want to we want to talk a little bit more about that because uh, you, we want to see your we've we've seen Al's individual eye. We want to see your eye too. Okay. Towards design. Right. Well, and Tim commented, "Catch the vision," and I think that's what you're doing, yeah. with Brenda. So Absolutely. We, we do have a question. Okay. Do you have country music stars as one of your well-known clients who buy Marathon Coach RVs? Oh yes. Yes, we have. Yes. Yeah. So yes, a lot of lot of country music uh, stars, not to name any names, but some of the biggest in the industry, um, some of the biggest music stars in the industry, right now are riding in a marathon coach, um, from some of the most iconic stars of the past to some of the most iconic stars of today. Right. And and I know we know we know who they are, and uh, just to just to. Uh, speak to the celebrity uh, how fun is it to do a celebrities coach it is it is I, I mean we're all people yeah and I said when we did they still got to use a refrigerator right when we did a certain country stars coach um, we played his music for weeks Alan and I did here in the design room to catch his vision. oh yeah that's a great yeah. idea so while we're choosing everything we're listening to him we're getting to know him a little bit can't do that with every customer no it was kind of fun and now I know all his songs all of them <laughs> and it was oh, know, great. part of we felt like we got to know him that's and that's a, and that's a really good way to start getting involved with them is right. you know what made them successful yes is is yes. their music so well and I don't know if he's listening but Tim McGraw if you would like to come yes I will work non grata I or, Br or Bruno Mars, my yeah. wife would be oh, interested. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Either Me way. too. I love yeah. Bruno Mars. I always said, it, whatever celebrity comes, I'll treat them like it. Unless there's a few that I might faint dead over for. But then I will <laughs> hop right up and pick the perfect tile. I promise. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah. your time, Brenda. You're welcome. We'll be seeing you soon on Marathon okay. Mondays. Sounds good. Okay. Back in here. We've been in this room before. Hey, let's peek into the engineers and see what those guys are doing. How are we doing on time? Are we okay to go over on time today? Yeah. We doing okay? Here we are in the in with all the engineers. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're just kind of walking around today, saying hello to everybody. Um, it's gonna be as close as Here's our buddy Jay Graham on the phone. <laughs> Morning, Jake. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one guy that we can't miss, and then we're going to run out here and, and end the show. But if there's any more questions, hit us up. We got a few more minutes. Walk in the halls with all this, uh, all these. Oh, this is a cool room too. Also part of the upholstery. I think this is where they do a lot of the leather work on the captain's chairs, that uh, and the couches. A little bit more room to spread out. Let's go see if our HR director, Mike Warner, is Here's Jeff. Jeff, hey, good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. good morning, huh? So we're live here with Marathon hey. Mondays. This is Jeff. How are you doing? So Jeff, how long you you, ha you haven't been here very long? No, I came on in November, and I'm the uh, training manager. And uh, as new people come in, I show them around and get them a, and acquainted with everything, and get them all set up and start performing work. When I started here, he's one of the first guys I met. Took me around, and so from me to you, I appreciate that because you, you gave me you a bet. good a good ground laying of the whole area. And and yep. are you a new employee? I am. Welcome to Marathon. Thank you Excellent. very much. We're, this is Andrew. Andrew, we're live on Facebook and. We're just kind of walking around the building, and so we've met people that have been here for 34 years, and we're meeting someone here for the first day. That's so wonderful. Well, welcome to the team. Thank you. Let's go this way. Let me know when we're back up. 
All right, we may have lost you there for a second. There is an area of the building where it's kind of a dead zone for the uh, for the Wi-Fi, but um, we just stuck our head in and saw an employee. Let's, you know what? Let's cut this way. And we'll we'll go out this way. Just saw an employee that's been here for one day. Right after saying hello to Al, Al Christensen, who's been here for over 30 years. That's kind of neat to see. All right, we have a question. Sure, let's come on out here and we can answer it. Have any of your coaches made an appearance in a Hollywood movie as product placement? Uh, yes, absolutely. Let's, uh, let's head down these stairs and we'll talk about that. We have seen... Um, the marathon coach in music videos. We've seen it wrapped. I do know because a customer told me that uh, one was in a Robin Williams movie. Um, it, I think I'm okay to mention the movie. It was a uh, it was called Man of the Year and it was wrapped to look like a campaign bus. Hello again. Oh, Transformers 3, and then um, there was a Sean, a Sean Puffy Combs, Diddy, if you will. Uh, there was a Diddy uh, video uh, where the coach was in. Uh, what, what else? There's been a couple of different... Uh, last Man Standing. Last, last Man on Earth. Last Man on Earth, and several music videos where you can see a marathon coach. Uh, but if... If you have any other questions about anything you saw on today's Marathon Mondays with Mal, feel free to email me at malw at marathoncoach.com or to comment right on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Um, go ahead and like our pages. And uh, you know, before we close out, we met a lot of people that have been here a long time. I haven't been here a long time, but I'm gonna tell you, you kind of get that feeling walking around the building. It's very inviting. There's a lot of people that are really invested in the company um, with their heart. And in my short time here with Marathon, it's been just that. The company has welcomed me in. And when I say the company, I mean the family, the people we met today have been so, so wonderful uh, to the new guy. And uh, we saw that in Rod. When we saw Rod initially, we saw that. Uh, with a lot of the employees we met today and uh, with you guys out there too commenting and saying so many nice things about what we're doing here on Marathon Mondays. So feel free to uh, make some comments, let us know if there's any other aspects you want to see uh, for future shows and uh, thank you so much for watching and commenting. I'm gonna head in and try and find a coffee and have a good day and a good week.